I'm here to talk about what went on as far as the SA allegations between, oh, hold on, let me back up. So Chris McDonough, 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 whatever, however you say your name. Okay, so you really need to make that clear on your channel how to say your name, just saying. Anyways, CM is what I'm going to call you from here on out. CM, you need to make clear on your channel how to say your name. So from here on out, CM is what I'm going to call you. You made it clear when you went live one night that you had talked to Tiffany Marie before your live stream. On that live stream, you made it apparent, actually showed on screen, that Trish was SA'd by Don, a.k.a. Summer's dad. Did you not? As soon as I seen it, because I had listened to the whole live stream Tiffany Marie posted on her channel and the phone call, I knew that was false information. But as far as transparency goes, the right thing to do would what? Anybody answer that question in the chat? It's okay. I'll help you. The right thing to do by knowing the correct information was I contacted Tiffany Marie, being a friend of mine, and I said, hey, look. I said, I think he has the wrong information posted. Not knowing she was watching the live stream, but I sent her a screenshot, right? She says, oh, he must have made a mistake. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, my gosh, are you kidding me? This is a pretty bad mistake to have made. He needs to correct it. So here I am thinking, like, the next day he went on his stream and corrected it because I had seen in certain streams CM corrected it. I went back to that same stream. I didn't see any correction. But what I did hear was he had went to another stream other than his own, made the correction there. Why, you say? I have no idea. But he did make it clear that he spoke to who? Tiffany Marie before he had went live. So as transparency follows, if you've not worked in, say, like a community building where transparency is really, really, really important, okay? You copy so-and-so on so-and-so to let so-and-so know what you've done. Am I right? Can I get a one in the chat? Please. Type a one in the chat if transparency is important, please. This is very important to the point I'm trying to make here. One, is transparency important, you all? Hell yeah, Juju Positive says, thank you so much. Rain Girl, Quinny, Alley Cat, thank you so much. Two tacos. So during a text message, just between me and Tiffany Marie, I say, well, I'll go ahead and email Chris because I'd already had a communication with Chris, whatever his last name is, however you pronounce it, CM, okay? I'd already had communication with him. And she was aware of that, by the way, prior to her contacting him, by the way. So I said, well, I'll just go ahead and email him to let him know, right? That his information was wrong because she had stated in the text message, I really don't want to bother him. Are you freaking kidding me? We're talking about SA allegations and you don't want to really bother him? Are you kidding me? If I, all right, me, myself as a YouTube creator, all right? If I put out wrong information as a PowerPoint slideshow in print on my live stream and had it up forever and it was wrong information, I'm sorry. But if I put out wrong information, I for one would want to know if that information was quote incorrect. That's just how I work. That's how I roll. I don't want to put out false information. No matter what anybody else says about my channel, about my tinfoil hat, my conspiracy, you know what? You can just go through the hell off because I'm all about the truth. So if you want to disregard the fucking truth, so be it. I wear my tinfoil hat proudly. You all can kiss my, you know what? All right. So sorry this had to come out at such a, you know, it didn't come out at the right time because it wasn't ready. But now it's ready because not only have I been blocked since, my wrench has been removed from one, two channels because of this. And I did nothing to one of the channels. I actually did nothing to both channels. Tiffany Marie, I did nothing to you. I only tried to protect you. Look at my thumbnail from you getting attacked. But you know what? You revert back to analyze your days because what? You believed a cancer scammer in this community. You believe she actually had cancer and wasn't scamming people. I called her out and you got pissed at me. So it seems like you almost revert back to that day. I'm not trying to start shit. No, that's not how I work. But it seems like you really hold a grudge on to the past. You can't ever move forward. So I let Tiffany know, okay, I'm going to email CM. She says, okay, good. Puts a heart. Completely okay with me emailing CM to let him know that his information was incorrect. Right? All right. Things are going good for about two minutes. I copied CM on the email that I sent to Chris. In the email that I sent to Chris, I let him know I first confronted and confirmed the information through, quote, Tiffany Marie, because she was a friend of mine that had the original information because Trish contacted her. Are you all following me? This is how transparency works. Tiffany Marie was contacted by Trish, the niece of the stepsister of Don Wells. Are you all following me? I watched that full live stream. I was fully aware of what the information entailed. So I knew what CM was projecting on his channel was wrong information, but I still wanted to confirm through TM, the information was incorrect. Yes, I did that. And I have the text messages to, to, to confirm the information. All right. So here's what I did. I let T Tiffany Marie know I was going to email him. I copied her CC, BCC, okay, her on the email so that she could see fully what I said to him because she said, okay, good. You're contacting him. That's fine because I don't want to email him. I don't want to quote, quote, bother him, end quote. She didn't want to bother CM because she had just got off the phone with him, even though his information was incorrect. Do you all see why I have such a problem with this information? If I, you know, this whole case is like freaking like going around the world three times and then out and then three times back around the opposite direction. I understand that. I know where you're coming from, but still wrong information is wrong information. During the interview that Trish had with Tiffany Marie, she stated not one time that Don essayed her. 
I'm all about the truth. If you look at my channel, I'm all about the truth. If somebody puts a false truth out there, hey, I'm not for that crap. Okay? So CM put out on his channel false information. So I confronted the original source that Trish contacted. Do you all follow me? Can you please type a one, please? If you understand where I'm going with this, can you please type a one? I wanted to make sure information was correct. Okay. Thank you. I see it. Thank you, Gage at String Yard, for making this apparent that you're uh, getting up to par as far as the speed on your damn platform. Whatever. So I copied Tiffany Marie on the email. If I have to provide screenshots and emails, I will. Okay. I really do not ever like to copy text messages or emails to show proof because I would like to, to think that my subscribers would know that I'm all about the truth. And when I say something, it's freaking legit. Are you kidding me? But if I have to provide proof, Tiffany, I will. I'm not sure what all you told CM, but whatever you told him was false information and you need to jump on that. Okay. It seems to me like no matter what was said, whether it was false or true, you want Dawn to go down because of what happened between him and his stepsister. You know what? I found that wrong. And I hope whoever wants to clip this clips it because this is my true heart going out there. Bombshell, thanks for being in here. I appreciate it. Two tacos. Thank you, sweetheart. I love you. You know, I always will. I don't speak unless something's really bothering me. And for you to fucking block me, TM, because all I wanted to do was protect you. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I had the, the school bus. Fucking A. Damn it. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you all so the TM can't like blow this in my face later. The school bus, for some damn reason, don't ask me why, the school bus kept popping in my head. Okay. Right. I knew the school bus trip, like the school bus kept popping into my head as far as summer wells. Don't ask me why. So I told like two people I called TBI, which I didn't. But I told two people I called TBI just to see what they say. They were like, oh, my God, you didn't. Oh, my God, you called TBI. No way. Over a vision. <gasps> Do you not know how I work? Really? Would I really freaking call TBI over a vision? No, sorry. You obviously don't know me that well. But I told you I did. I told you I had a vision, which the correct part of the information was, yes, I did have a vision. The school bus for a full hour, you all, kept popping in my head. God knows why. Okay? Needless to say, that's right next to the dog trail. So obviously, there's some correlation, right? I don't know if I have psych psychic ability. I will tell you, there were two times my husband got me flowers. This is the first time on public YouTube I've stated this. So I'm going to let you all know. Two times. Two separate times. Um, I'm trying to think, like, years apart, okay? My husband decided to get me flowers, quote, just because. It's not like we were fighting or anything like that, all right? Both times, as God is my witness, okay? I have no reason to lie. Each time, he, it's almost like as he purchased the flowers, okay? A thought came to my head, and it wasn't a question. It was like a conf confirmation. And it came to me, it's like, oh, my God, he just got me flowers. Okay, what is this? So I kind of, like, just kind of brushed it off, right? He walks in the door with flowers. And I, the first time it happened, I'm like, okay, what was that? Wow. Okay. It's not like we were fighting. It's not like I was like suspecting flowers, right? So the first time it happened, I was kind of like, wow. All right. Why is this happening? The second time it happened, we weren't fighting. I got the, the vision in my head. As God is my witness, I swear to God, I'm not lying. He got me flowers. He brought home with him. And I was like, okay, so what's going on here? I don't know what's going on, but two times he got me flowers. I knew it. Why flowers? Well, why is this whole thing about flowers? Like, like, why do I see this? I don't know if I need to fine tune what, right? I have no idea. Two tacos. I've already talked to you about this. All right, so he got me flowers the second time. He showed up with them. I was like, really? I kind of wasn't really surprised because when the confirmation came to me, it wasn't a question. It was like confirmation, like, hey, he got you flowers. There was no question about it. There's no other way to explain it. I don't know if I have a gift or what. I really, I don't. I, I don't want to say that like I'm special, seriously. But there's two times my husband got me flowers and it was told to me, yes, he got you flowers. We weren't fighting or nothing. It was just because how did I know this? Do I want to fine tune this? I have no idea. I'm scared to death. But that's kind of beside the point. I had a vision, Okay. I saw the school bus for like an hour straight. Every time I would shut my eyes, the school bus that's on Summer Rail's property, right? You all know which school bus I'm talking about, right? If I have to tell you, you don't know about the case. So for a full hour straight, I closed my eyes. I'd see nothing but the school bus and like the woods next to it and like this trail, like not the trail itself, but just like a, a clearing, right? But I concentrated on the school bus for a full hour straight. I'm telling you right now, just from my experience, I'm not saying I'm like psychic or nothing like that because the Bible says it makes it clear witchcraft, psychics, are not of the will of God, okay? So I'm really scared to even fine-tune anything, but I'm going to tell you something. I think I've been given a gift. I don't know what it is, but Tiffany Marie's going to say, oh my God, you saw the school bus. Did you call CBI? No, I did not, but I told you I did to see what you'd say, to see how you treat me. Just saying. Just thought I'd put that out there. Anyways, for a full hour, I saw the school bus and I was like, you know what? Something's going to come up the school bus. Um, I have no idea, but it looks to me like that trail. Guess what? It's right next to the school bus. So I've got my eyes closed. I don't see the chat. I'm just trying to remember the things, how they progress. So I don't state them wrong, you all. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and try to post the link because last time I was live, for some reason, StreamYard wouldn't even post the link in the chat. So let me go ahead and try to do this. Let's see. Uh, share. Mm -hmm. All right. Can you type in one if you see that StreamYard link? If not, if you're a mod in the chat, can you repost that for me? Thanks. Appreciate that. Type in one if you see me post that link. Last time I was live on my main channel or on this channel, it would not post for some reason. 
I know tacos. You've told me that, honey. I appreciate it. I had, for some reason, I feel like I needed to get this out tonight. This has been like three weeks going on, but I've not spoke about it until now. You all, until now. This has got to be said. I'm not saying I'm perfect by no means, but if something is done wrong, you all, it needs to be made right. And I feel like tonight was the time to talk about it because God knows nobody else is talking about it, right? This case has touched me. I can't even begin to describe how it's touched me. If you all have followed me for any amount of time, Cannon Stout case touched me to where I literally cried on stream, you all, okay? There are some cases that touch you, some cases that don't, right? Oh, great, here's the train. Summer Wells has touched me almost as close as Gannon Salk. Gannon Salk was really like, wow, okay? Now, I've kind of like jumped away from the Summer's case a little bit just because it's been here, there, here, there, everywhere, right? So I've kind of stepped back. Now, I've not spoken a whole lot about this. So the simple fact is there's so many conspiracies out there. Are you kidding me? So now, right, we have a picture that's allegedly showing the AKA dad and mom putting quote summers in a quote well allegedly right you have to be careful on how you speak about these things type of one if you've seen that picture type of two if you've seen the picture that's been photoshopped humor me please thank you for the first week escape i'm just now looking at chat people are reaching on this case so much kind of like that backed away like are you kidding me you are going here there and all around and back i can't i can't do it okay so creative renewal you said you saw the whole time the news and the law enforcement have stated Toyota Tacoma. Am I right or am I wrong? If you look at that picture, if that picture is connected to quote law enforcement, if that is the picture they are going by with the ladder rails and the buckets, does anyone see anything? That's not a Toyota. That is a Chevrolet dual cab four door. I'm sorry if I know my vehicles, I just know them. Don't ask me how, I just know. Not a Toyota. I would say that's a 2000, 2001 to 2003. Chevrolet dual cab four door, probably a Z71 four by four. Just saying, in that picture not anywhere close to a Toyota 2000s model. So then you ask yourself, hmm, okay, so if that picture is correct, if that was the picture that law enforcement quote was going by allegedly, why would they say Toyota? Or is law enforcement going by another picture? Where did this picture come from? I'm sorry. And a long bed. That's a short bed truck in the photo. Thanks, Creative Renewal. Exactly. If you know your vehicles, you know your vehicles. Lost on the peak. Okay, so hold on just a second. I'm gonna try to find that picture and blow it up. Hold on, let me find it real quick. I don't have it saved on my PC because I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to do that. So hold on just a second. I'm going to try to find it real quick. Two seconds, guys. You all see what I'm talking about. <laughs> Somebody had it and they posted it and they posted the full view of it. Where they got it, I have no idea. How do we, did I post this in your link? <laughs> all right. So hold on just a second. Let's post this. Let's look. No, stop playing. Let me go back. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and go to today because that's where I seen it. It was posted today, but there's a full length picture of the truck, not the zoom in part, but the truck, you all, the full picture where you can literally tell it's not a Toyota, it's a Chevy. And for some reason, most of the people that are posting this picture are not posting the full picture. So if I have to do that, check out my community post and I will show you that, hold on. I think I just found it. Oh, it doesn't show the headlights. Okay, hold on. I need to find a full picture where it shows the actual headlights. If you all are not aware of vehicles. All right, so when you look at a vehicle, one of the main things you need to look at to be able to judge what type of vehicle it is, is the headlights. The headlights are always going to be different depending on the make and model. So once I saw this full picture, I knew it was not a Toyota. I double checked. I looked up 2000 to 2000, uh, I think five, Toyota Tacoma, quote, models. The headlights were nowhere near a Chevy uh, Z71 4x4 dual cab four door, okay? With a Chevy, you've got the, the lights underneath the main headlights. You've got like a squared off and it's like orange underneath. If you don't know your vehicles, it's kind of hard to explain. So hold on, just bear with me. I'm trying to find the screen the picture I seen earlier to where I could tell, hey, that's a Chevy. It's not a Toyota. So I don't want to question law enforcement and think, okay, so you've got this wrong. But as far as the essay with CM and Tiffany Marie, and I don't even want to say the T word. It's like CM put that out there that Don CA'd his niece. That was false information. I asked myself when I heard Jeannie's interview. Okay. It was either Jeannie or Trish talking. She had made the statement. I think it was Trish. She said there was a point in time where she elaborated to the fact that she was in the same room with her uncle, AKA Don. And I'm thinking to myself, wow. So, and I'm not questioning this. Please don't, please do not. Thank God for the First Amendment because we have freedom of speech, right? We don't, if you think about it, we don't ever want to harbor that. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So, Trish had her, her interview, right? She had alluded to the fact that she was in a room alone or with, not alone, but with her uncle Don in the same room with. Her mom was aware of it. Now, now I'm not going to question any essay abuse, nothing like that. Okay, I don't want to do that. But I'm going to put the thought out there, okay? If I was in the same boat, okay, me, I'm talking about me. 
if I had been, quote, S-A, in quote, by my, quote, stepbrother, in quote, would I let my daughter around this individual? Hmm? Hmm? No, not me. But yet, that was stated that it was true. She was around her uncle. Just want to throw that tidbit out there. I'm not throwing any false allegations out there or nothing. Thank God for the First Amendment. You got to know how to speak it. Just saying. Anyways, wanted to put that out there. I'm not saying anybody's false, not saying anybody's lying, but you put false information out there, be ready for the repercussions. My channel's all about the truth. You don't want to believe it? Don't believe it. Been sitting on this for a while. Just saying. Okay, I got out what I need to say. Sorry, guys. Sweet Escape, Pug Love, Rain Girl, Juju, much love. It's a very, very, very hard topic to talk about you all. Okay, very hard topic. Let me turn this mic over just a little bit. Okay, very hard topic to talk about. Sweet Escape, it's very hard to find all the people. All right, so if you're just now following, please rewind. I really don't want to have to. Okay, so CM stands for Chris Madonna, who, who, whatever, however you pronounce his name, whatever he is, X law enforcement, current detective, personal detective. I don't, I don't even know what he is. Okay. Whatever he is. The interview R O O M is his channel. Okay. Trust me. I know how this stuff works on YouTube. 